So hello, welcome. Always nice to see a new face around here. So is this your first time having your fortune taught? I thought so. You just kind of had that look about you. Well, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Anne. I've been doing fortune telling and spiritual healing for a very, very long time, so you're in very good hands. I come from a very long line of fortune tellers. I'm actually a direct descendant of Nostradamus. You may have heard about him. He's kind so, what brings you here today? Do you have a burning, burning question in your mind? Or are you just looking for some overall guidance? Either way, you've come to the right place. So you're just interested in a, a tarot card reading? You know that you have a very, very exquisite face. If you'd be interested, I would love to do a face reading on you. Yes, our facial anatomy actually tells a lot about us. I wouldn't be surprised if you came from royalty, honestly. I haven't seen a face this exquisite. Forehead, you have such a high forehead, and those cheekbones, they just like look like they've been sculpted out of marble. Such a strong nose, such an incredible jawline. Oh, it's quite remarkable. You're not interested in that? Alright, well, maybe another time. First things first. We'll get started with that tarot reading. Why don't you just come and follow me over to the table. And we'll see what the cards have to say about you. Alright, my we're going to start the process very soon. I want you to take that question that you have in your mind. And I want you to hold it in the forefront of your brain. I'm going to shuffle the cards. And I want you to keep that question in your mind the entire time. Can you do that for me? It's very important that you keep focused. Just keep thinking about whatever question that you want answered. And the cards will pick up on that. Can you do that for me? get down to business. I'm excited that this will be your first, first reading. I'm glad that I get to be your first. Nobody ever forgets their, their first fortune telling experience. Oh, you like my shirt? Yeah. It makes such lovely sounds, doesn't it? Okay. 
kind of sounds like like rain gently falling on a tin roof. I'm practicing belly dancing. You'll have to come see me perform sometime. It's my my latest hobby. One can never have too many hobbies, I say. Do you have any hobbies? Oh, interesting. I find that fascinating. I'm gonna need you to cut this deck for me a couple times. I need to have some of your, your energy on the cards. Yeah, just shuffle them however you like. You can cut the deck. going to spread them all out on the table and I need you to keep thinking about your question. Keep that question right, right in the front of your thoughts. Okay, we're just going to stir these all together like a stew. We're mixing the stew Keep focused, keep your intention on your question so we can get it all, all mixed in with the cards. All right, now I'm going to bring them all together. you cut the deck one last time and then we will start the process. I'm so excited to, to see how this turns out. I have a feeling it's going to be a really good reading because I can just tell that you have such, such strong energy. I can feel your energy just like radiating off of you. One of the strongest, strongest auras I've ever been around, honestly. It's quite magnificent. Do you have any like psychic abilities at all? Like, do you ever just get like a really strong intuition about things? Always trust your instincts. I can tell that you have a very, very strong, strong instincts and that you should pay very close attention to them. Always listen to your heart. All right. We're almost ready. this deck for me one last time and then we will be getting started. Yeah, just put them wherever, wherever you feel like you just get like a strong vibe from them or just kind of like wave your hand over the deck until you feel until you feel it's the right time to cut them you'll know when to stop there's honestly no right or wrong way to do that So 
you purchased the three card reading. And in the three card reading, we're gonna deal with your, your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, and then your higher self. So the three card reading is like actually loosely based on the lover's card. On the right, we have this figure of a man. That's your conscious mind. That's the part of your mind that you're most familiar with. That's the part of your brain that's just chattering all day long, that interprets our experiences. And on the left, we have the female. Now that's your subconscious mind. That's all your intuitions, all your emotions, everything that's deeply buried inside your mind. And then at the very top, we have this angel that represents your higher self, your true self. So when we do the three card reading today, your question is going to focus on what is happening in the immediate that you're aware of, what is happening in your subconscious mind, and then your true higher self. Okay, that'll be your top card. So remember, this angel represents who we think we are. And nothing is more important in this life. And nothing shapes our experiences more than the way we perceive ourselves. Have you ever noticed there's certain people that walk around and they're always doubting themselves and they think, nobody likes me. I'm always awkward. I'm never going to be accepted. And in turn, that ends up being their experience. People don't respond to them well. And then there's other people that walk around thinking, I'm so likable. Everything I do always turns out in my favor. Wherever I go, I'm going to make friends. And it's true. We have to be very careful the thoughts that we think about ourselves because they end up shaping our reality. So that's something that I want you to be very aware of. As Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. Your thoughts are going to shape your own destiny. Remember that. All right. I think we're ready to begin now. All right, so are you ready to turn these puppies over? All right, so this first card that I'm gonna turn over, that's going to be the one that I was telling you about that represents your higher self. Oh, very nice. You got the chariot. That is a very, very powerful card. So as you can see here, there's a princely figure riding inside of a chariot. And then we have a black sphinx and a white sphinx that are pulling the chariot. So these two sphinxes represent our senses. One is negative and one is positive, representing that there's always part of us that is saying no to something and part of us that is saying yes to something. We're always being pulled in opposite directions. And as you will see, this prince is not holding any reins. That is because he controls 
these senses with his mind. He's in control. This is your higher self. So this card tells me that you are being pulled in two different directions right now. If you look closely, you can see that there is a city behind the chariot and there is a river behind him as well. This represents that you need to get outside of the city, you need to get outside of the noise that's in your mind and find some quiet place in order to make this decision. You need to get away from all the outside chattering that's going on and find a place of seclusion that's going to help you make this important decision that you need to make because you're at a crossroads right now. Maybe you're feeling a little wishy-washy. You're being pulled two different ways. Part of you says no. seat. You need to take these lesser emotions by the reins and guide yourself in the right direction. Just get outside yourself, find a secluded space, and set yourself on the right path. This card is also known as the Chariot of Triumph. So it tells me that once you decide what path to take, you're going to be very successful. You just have to make up your mind. And once you do, you will be set on the right path. So the next two cards you have are the Page of Pentacles and the Star card. So the Page of Pentacles, this is a card that represents change, but unfortunately the Star card is reversed, which means it was upside down. Reversed cards have fear in them and your energy is blocked. So the star card represents a quest, but since it's upside down, that means that you have fear about this change that's coming into your life. You're entering a new phase of life, but that energy is blocked. Maybe you're feeling a little wishy-washy. Maybe you're not sure which way to go. Maybe you need to follow your inner star. In your subconscious, you're feeling fear about this quest that you're supposed to go on. About this new phase of life that you're entering into. The page tells me that you're being called to do something, but maybe you've been looking towards the outside world for guidance instead of looking at your own inner self for these answers. You need to go somewhere secluded and figure out what it is that you truly, truly want. No more being wishy-washy. No more having one foot in two places at once. You need to set off on your path in one direction. You're being called. You're being called to make a change in your life. Do not seek your goals and seek your answers from the outside world. The answer is inside of you. But remember, this is not your whole life. These cards are just talking about what's going on right now. What's happening in the present moment. 
If we did another reading tomorrow, they could tell something different. But they picked up on what you're feeling in this exact moment. So, to sum it up, you're being pulled in two different directions. You know that change is coming. And you need to be in control, take life by the reins, choose your own direction, choose your own path. And you will be triumphant in your quest. Well, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I would love for you to come back sometime and do a facial reading of you. You really do have quite incredible facial features. And I can tell so much about you just from looking at your face. But I understand that you're in a rush and you have to go. But you know where to find me. It was a pleasure meeting you. I really enjoyed our time together. And just remember to believe in yourself and follow your inner star. And trust me, you'll end up on the right path. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I can tell that you're getting very close to achieving your goal. You just need to believe in yourself and you just need to follow your own heart and you'll end up exactly where you need to be. All right, well. You'll have to come back and let me know. I do see now that you just have a little bit of negative energy on you that might be getting in your way. Would you want me just to pull some of that off of you? It might help you to to make some important decisions if you aren't clouded by this negative energy that's attached to you. It's not serving you any purpose. I'd like to just, just scratch some of that off of you. It's just a couple pieces that are attached to your aura.
smooth out your 